Welcome to the Bliss Code Podcast, where we unlock the secrets to your ideal lifestyle. I'm Jamie Drew, your guide on this transformative journey. Whether you're seeking balance, ambition, or pure bliss, remember, every episode brings us one step closer to cracking the code. Together, let's decode your dreams and elevate your every day. Ready? Let's dive into the formula. Hey, girl. Look, this week we talking about mindset, okay? We doing a little deep dive because mindset is the root, baby. The bottom, the nitty gritty, the, the, the where it all begins of your transformation, okay? You cannot make any kind of transformation. You cannot level up. You cannot live your best life, okay? Without getting your mind right. And that's what we're gonna be talking about this week. You know, last week we talked about awakening this main character, right? We we came up with this girl, Fierce Nisha. <laughs> A lot of y'all loved her. Y'all loved Fierce Nisha. And we talked about her outside appearance, right? We talked about what her hair looked like, her eye color. We talked about her body and really stepping into her. But what we really need to dig into is her mindset. And this is so important, especially for us high-performing women, because, girl, we got a lot going on, okay? And a lot of things can tug on our mindset and really inhibit us from growing like we need to. So it's so important that we really, really dig into this into this mental stuff. And I am here to support you. And look, we're going to support each other, okay? (laughs) We're going to support each other in this thing. It is like essential for us to form community and be in this together because you can't do anything by yourself. Me and one of my friends the other day were talking about the term self-made millionaire. And we were like, girl, who is self-made? Like who does anything by themselves? Unless you're talking about the fact that we are, you know, in the image of our creator. Okay. Then if I'm the creator, we are, we are all a part of this essence. Then I guess you can say I'm self-made. But other than that, baby, we can't do anything by ourselves. There has to be somebody that helped us along the way, somebody that mentored us, that guided us, somebody that threw us a bone, you know, somebody that put us on an interview or whatever it is. There's our customers. Hello. Can we talk about our customers, how we can't get anywhere without our customers and clients? Okay. So I understand what they mean by not like, you know, being a nepotism baby or whatever that term is they like to throw around, but nobody, and I mean nobody on this earth is self-made. And this is one of the reasons that I am creating the Bliss Code Academy so that all of us main characters can be living this life together and supporting one another and staying immersed in this high-level mindset. So let's get into like the science because I like to make things very magical, very mystical. I like to talk about the law of attraction, the law of assumption, hypnosis, darling. I like all that extra stuff. But some of y'all, y'all, y'all need to hear the science. You know, y'all need to hear, well, psychologists have studied the brain. So I'm gonna give y'all that. (laughs) So look, Mindset plays this huge role in shaping our learning, our success, and our well-being. So if you've ever heard of neuroplasticity, this is the brain's ability to kind of reshape, reorganize itself. And this supports the concept that mindsets can be changed. So you know how people try to say, oh, you can't uh, teach an old dog new tricks? Baby, yes, you can. (laughs) And we are discovering that. Listen, it's 2023. We know better now. You can teach a very old dog new tricks. And you have to believe that. 
in order to go further in your life. We have to have a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. Because if you don't think that you can learn something new, if you don't think that your brain can be pliable, malleable, moldable, then baby, why are you listening to this podcast? Because we're all about leveling up, embracing your main character energy, and going further in life. So you can't have this old mindset that, you know, that your intelligence is just set, that your abilities are just set, that there's nothing else that you can do. When I used to work in social work, people all the time would be like, I'm on a fixed income. And I'm like, first of all, everybody's on a fixed income, okay? If if you're working a nine to five and you get a paycheck, then everybody has a quote unquote fixed income. And embracing that, that term kind of limits you, right? Like, oh, I get the same pay every two weeks or I get the same pay every month. Okay, well, so does majority of America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So does majority of working folks all over the globe. So I don't believe in that term fixed because things can always change. And you have to actually believe that if you want to level up, if you want to go anywhere in life. You have to have the belief that your dedication can lead you to overcoming any challenges, persevering, and just learning and getting to a new place and a new space. I call that quantum leaping, where you literally collapse time and you're like, boom, I'm in a different reality. And there's ways that you can do that. And it starts with your mental, baby. You know, I was talking to one of my friends and she was saying, you know, can you talk to the people who, you know, you quit your job, which I did quit my job, hallelujah. And, you know, some people aren't able to do that. Some people cannot move any for any further than where they are they are stuck and they need your guidance too and you know what the first thing i thought in my mind is if you have decided that you are stuck that you don't have any choices and that you can't that you can't do something then guess what you're right you're right People give a lot of credit to the brain, right? But the brain is really, the brain loves autopilot, baby. The the brain loves to do the same things over and over and over again. It likes to keep things simple. It's like, hey, I saw that before. I'm going to show it to her again. Remember how your grandma would say, oh, be careful. Don't be looking for it because you're going to find it, baby. Yeah, you are. So if you use this language, guess what? You have ears. Your brain can hear you speaking. Your brain knows what you're thinking. If you say you can't, then guess what? You literally can't. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy uh, gifted by yours truly, yourself, you know? So you have got to get out of this mindset that, you are limited. I I used to say the sky is the limit, but my son is now telling me, I have a 17 year old son, y'all. And he is like, no, the sky is not the limit. The sky is what we stand on. I'm like, okay, I taught this boy well, because now he's schooling me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just think about, think about like the biggest of the biggest, think about somebody like Oprah. Okay. Oprah, she grew up in poverty, okay? She she had some bad things happening to her. But guess what? She had it set in her mind that she was going to be somebody, that she was going to level up, that she was going to overcome her circumstance and hop over that hurdle. And now, look, she has built 
an empire. Everybody knows who she is. Th- this lady has a, a avocado tree. Okay, you know, girl, you know you done made it when you got you an avocado tree. <laughs> okay? And she was talking about that's one of the most normal things she does is bring her own avocados around with her. Girl, Oprah, girl, ain't nothing normal about having your own avocado tree. But guess what? This is how we need to be thinking. This is how we need to be bringing in our new normal. We need to be we need to be making it Oprah normal, okay? Because we don't want to be regular. Okay, we don't want to be regular degulas. Okay, we want to be uplifted and up leveled. So we have to overcome any limiting beliefs that are in our mind that are holding us back from living the lifestyle that we deserve. So if you're thinking in your mind like, I'm not good enough. Remember last week we talked about imposter syndrome. Here, here's one that I hear all the freaking time. I'm so tired of hearing this one. I, I don't have time. Girl, yes, you do. Okay. You have time to say you don't have time. You got time. Okay. I don't want to hear it. We always, especially as women, have so much on our plate that don't belong there. And if we were to scrape some of those things off the plate into the trash can, we would have so much more time, I promise you, because we are constantly in the mode of doing things for other people, giving things to other people, making time for other people, saying yes when we really wanna say no, And a lot of times we feel guilty about saying no. We feel obligated to do things for certain people. We say, well, so-and-so did this for me, so I owe them. Baby, you don't owe anybody anything. You owe yourself the time and the space and the energy to give to yourself to fix whatever it is that you want to fix within your life and level up where you need to go. And then... That's the time when you can give back to so-and-so, okay? These are limiting beliefs. These are things that are holding you back. And some of us have limiting beliefs that we don't even know that are there. Girl, I was reading, have y'all heard of Amanda Francis? Who, baby? She is the truth. I just finished reading her book, Rich as F. Okay, I'm not going to say that word. Rich as F. Okay, y'all need to get this book. Girl, we need to do a book club on this or something because I, I'm putting that in the in the Bible status as in like one of those books that you read over and over again and highlight and put tabs in and everything like that. This, this girl wrote this book, okay, specifically for us. Not only that, she has like journal prompts and everything in there too. And I didn't even realize myself some of the limiting beliefs that I had. So the first step is to identify that you even have these limiting beliefs. One one of the things that I hear all the time, and I've even been guilty of saying this myself, is it's lonely at the top. Mo money, mo problems. Girl, if we believe that, we're never gonna get any money because we have it in our head that it hurts to be rich. And that is the biggest crock of bull I've ever heard. It is not lonely at the top. No, it's not. You have less choices of bull people coming into your space that you don't have time for, which I think is excellent, you know? But you surround yourself with high level, like minded people. And guess what? You won't be lonely at all. And to have problems is just an everyday life experience. So for me, I feel like it's better to have problems being rich than problems being broke. Because guess what? Money can solve some of those problems, okay? So you need to identify these limiting beliefs first. And then start questioning 
wait, is this real? Like, okay, how do I how do I know it's lonely at the top? How how do I know this? Have I ever been to what I consider the top? Do I know anybody that is in the place where I consider to be the top? Are they lonely? Probably not. And if they are lonely, they probably were going to be lonely anyway. You have to realize that people who level up in their lives, whether we're talking about money, career, just finding, you know, your own happiness within yourself, being authentic. That that's why I preach authenticity, okay? The only way to be the main character is to be yourself. So, it's going to amplify whatever was in your personality anyway. So you have to reframe these negative beliefs and you have to start overriding them with new ones, okay? You need to start telling yourself, oh, it is wonderful at the top. It is luxurious at the top. The top is the best place to be. The top is full of friends. It's full of friends who are at the top with me. The more money I have, oh, no, absolutely not. No more problems. No, that's not what we're going to say. We're going to say more money, more opportunity. More money, more access. So get out your journal, okay? If you're in, if you're in your car, you're driving, and you're at work somewhere, you may not be able to journal right now. But later on, pull out your journal. And if you don't have a journal, you need to go to theblisscode.net and get you a Bliss Code journal. Pull out your journal and write down all your negative Nancy beliefs, okay? I'm sorry to anybody named Nancy, but... <laughs> Sorry to all the Debbie down, all the Debbies with Debbie Downer and all the uh, Nancys with negative Nancy, okay? And low life Lucy. Look, I can keep going all day, but take your journal out and write down these beliefs that you have in your head that, that may be swirling around. I'm not good enough. I don't have time. I'm too old. I'm too broke. I don't have the education. I don't know the right people. Nobody's going to want what I have to offer. Write down all of these beliefs that you have in your mind and then rewrite them. Take another sent make another sentence out of them. Rewrite them into something else. Reframe it into the way that it should be that you want it to be. Now, these types of things are going to start influencing your mind. They're going to start influencing the way that you think about things. I know you heard that term, life and death is in the power of the tongue. I pull from all kind of texts. I don't care what kind of text it is. If the reading has value to me, I will pull from it. So if it's the Bible, if it's the Amanda Francis book, whatever book, if it resonates with me, I'm going to tell you about it. So when you're speaking these words, when you're writing these things down, these are affirmations. These are spells. This is what you want. One of my friends said, she posted this on Facebook the other day. She was like, worrying is a prayer for what you don't want. And I was like, dang, like that really, that really touched me because it's like, we all know what you focus on, you bring about into your life. You make grow what it is that you water. So if your mindset is the water, then what are you making grow? You know what I'm saying? The universe doesn't care. For y'all that have yards with weeds in them, okay, and you watering your grass, does the soil care that, oh, is it like, oh, she wants grass. I'm only going to grow grass. I'm going to leave these dandelions and everything out. Um, Absolutely not. You water it, it's going to grow, period. There's nothing you can do about it because the energy of the water has been focused on this place. 
So if you take the energy of your mind and focus it on this thing, it is going to grow. I guarantee you, I put money on it. Whatever you focus on is going to bring itself more and more within your reality. It's almost like you asked for it. So you have got to take control of your mind. You have to. There's no other option for you. There's no other choice for you. You have to be in charge of your mind. Now, last week, I also talked about the law of assumption. Okay, you assuming that everything is going to go your way. Okay, the law of assumption is the belief that any desired reality, anything you want, already exists. Okay, it's there. And all you need to do is align your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions with reality. Now, I know I keep saying, oh, I was talking to my friend. I was talking to my friend, but I really was. I really, I really do be talking to people, y'all. So I was talking to another friend and she used the quote, uh, faith without works is dead. Baby, she hit it on the money. That's the same thing as saying act as if. That's the same thing as saying fake it till you make it. That's the same thing as ask, believe, receive. It's the same thing as having the faith of a mustard seed. The same thing as having audacity. You have the knowing, the internal knowing, okay, that your desired reality is sitting there waiting for you. And all you have to do is move forward towards it. Okay, now this is a little bit different than the law of attraction because the law of attraction focuses on you attracting what you focus on. Now, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about your grass and the weeds and all of that. Okay, so the law of assumption is about embodying your desired reality right now. And that's the difference that I want you to get out of this. They're both good laws, okay? They're both excellent. But this is, to me, it's even better because you are working from the outside to the inside and all around, you are immersing yourself. You ever know, like, Let's say you want to learn a foreign language, you go live in that country for three months and boom, you got it down. Whereas if you were to stay in your current home country and try to learn the language at school or on some app, you're just going to have a basic level. You'd be damn near native if you go immerse in that country and all they're speaking is that language and you're surrounded by it. So this is the law of assumption. Having main character energy. That is practicing the law of assumption because you're like, I'm her, I'm it right now. You don't have to say, when I, when I do this, then I will. I remember I used to say I was really interested in becoming vegan, right? And I was like, oh, when I get more money, I'm going to become vegan, <laughs> I had to give that up because you will always be after money. You There will always be a reason to start later and later and later. When I do this, then I will do that. Something, something will always be interpreted as being in the way. You know, I could have said, oh, well, my son is still in the household with me and I don't want to force him to have certain eating habits. So I'm going to wait until he graduates. Girl, I, I've been a vegan for the last eight years and I haven't, I was a pescatarian two years before that. So I've been following this lifestyle for the last 10 years. Who wants to wait 10 years to do something? I would have still been waiting right now. You have to embody this reality that you want right this second. You can't be sitting around waiting around for ideal circumstances to come and slap you in the face. You have to embody this reality right this second. You have to become this it version of yourself right the hell now, girl. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do 
starting today that is going to push you into being this person? What type of mindset are you going to adopt? Okay, this is actually one of the pillars, the main pillar that we go over in the Bliss Code Academy, which is launching December 1st. You know, I got to plug it, the Academy. Can't wait for you to join us. Okay, this is the main premise of what is taught in the Academy that all is mind and adopting this elevated mindset and stepping into this character is going to propel you forward. When I talk about Quantum Leap, some of y'all are my age and remember that show. Remember that show Quantum Leap with that guy where he used to just wake up and he would be like in a different reality and he would look in the mirror and he might be a woman or he might be a pilot or he might be an astronaut. Like he never knew what he was going to orb into. Okay, that's you. That's you, okay? Now, you have to start being this person. And some steps that can help you. I'm going to help you. I'm always here to help you, girl. I really believe in the power of meditation. And don't tell me, oh, I can't do meditation because I can't quiet my mind. Oh, okay. That's fine. You can have thoughts swirling around in your mind, but at least take the moment to get started doing this thing and being the type of person that is very intentional about the way that they live their life. So even if you start with two minutes, three minutes daily, okay, and it's important to have not just any meditation, but a mindfulness meditation where you focus on just being in the present moment. This is why most meditations that you hear about tell you to focus on your breath. Why? Because that's going to bring you to the right here and now if you're focusing on yourself breathing in and out. And that is going to put you right where you need to be to start transforming your mindset, okay? The other thing that you can do is you can do daily affirmations. I, ooh, I love this. I have them written on my mirror, okay? If you follow me on social media, then you've seen that I've taken a pink mirror marker and written these affirmations. And you wanna start your day with this because that's gonna help to guide your day. It's going to aim you in the right direction, okay? So saying these statements, I am, I have, I feel, attaching yourself to these things will help you to embody this throughout the day because you are literally telling your mind, you're pointing your mind in the direction that you want to go, okay? The third thing you can do, and this is one of my absolute favorites because this really makes a difference because you can really tie your emotions into this. And if you know anything about the book, The Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard, if you don't go pick it up and read it, The Feeling is the Secret to Get You Where You Need to Be. This is why I talk about regulating your nervous system when you're feeling down, when you're feeling anxious, because that's going to propel you somewhere that you don't want to be. So spend some time visualizing your ideal lifestyle based off of these concepts and everything that I'm teaching you and put the feeling to it. How would you feel if you're in this new space? this ideal lifestyle, okay? So these are the ways that you become more and more and more of this character, this main character, because you have to have it stuck in your mind that you are her. You have to actually believe it. Like they say on TikTok, you have to be delusional. That's exactly what this is, where you believe nothing else and no one can shake you from this belief. This is why certain religious groups, you know, they like to put people 
you know, they like to immerse you in their culture and not let you be outside of it and only immersed with them. I hate to say it, but this is where the cults and stuff get it right. (laughs) They keep you immersed in that. Not that I'm supporting cults or anything like that. But what I'm saying is staying in that mind where you are unshakable from it is what is going to quantum leap you, propel you to the next level of your journey. Okay? So make sure you subscribe to our notifications on the blisscode.net. Follow us on Instagram at Ideal Lifestyle Formula and stay tuned for the next episode of the Bliss Code Podcast. Hold up, girl. Don't go yet. Did you turn on your notifications? Because next week, We're going to be diving into some worldly wisdom, baby. Yeah, we're going to talk about some global philosophies like Wabi Sabi, Huga, and Pura Vida. And I know you've heard about the Blue Zones. We're going to discuss their core essence and how they can be integrated into our daily lives. So don't forget, you don't want to be left out.